Travelling on the N81, you come to the dam on the Liffey at Pulafuca. You slow down to pass what seems to be a bridge. It's hard to see its beauty, unless you come down below to see just what you're missing. Arching across the River Liffey here, right on the border of counties Wicklow and Kildare, the Pulafuca Bridge spans a river that these days is quiet and subdued due to the dam's control further up. When this bridge was built over 200 years ago, it crossed over a violent torrent of water that was Pulafuca Falls. Formed thousands of years ago, when there was an ice lake formed from melting glaciers 27 kilometres long and 300 metres deep, pressed up against the granite rock at Pulafuca. That mass of water finally found a crack in the granite and suddenly that water had somewhere to flow. And the pressure of that water is huge, which is why we get these rock cut, the, the gorges are cut in solid rock. You only have to stand on the bridge at Polifuca and see just how powerful that water was flowing through there. So that's where it gets its power, its energy from. And you're talking about millions of cubic metres of water. In this painting in the mid-1700s, you can see the torrent that was Pulafuca Falls pouring through into a tiny ravine. When the enigmatic, self-taught Scottish engineer Alexander Nemo built his single-span bridge in 1820, it was a vital crossing point into Wicklow. Photos from the Lawrence studio in Sackville Street opposite the GPO, taken by Robert French in 1905, show a still very active, strong river and a place that would become a well-known tourist stop. Because the river was being pushed into such a narrow gap in the hard granite rock, it was an ideal place for the new Irish state to build a dam just before the Second World War and harness the power of that once turbulent Pulafuca Falls. Today the River Liffey is tame, placid, controlled, and patiently flows on into County Kildare, leaving behind Alexander Nemo's hidden Pulafuca Bridge to watch over the now quiet River Liffey.